Hello everyone, Bill from Glider Sports Headquarters. This week's Glider Sports Pro Tip was inspired by Steve in Florida, who wanted clarification on how to mount an MY19 airbox on a previous generation Moster 185. So keep those questions coming in and Glider Sports will try our best to provide some answers. <laughs> Not only is this airbox more compact, the fluid dynamics have been updated, which could optimistically reduce your fuel consumption by up to 15%. Now let's start off with safety. Go ahead and make sure your engine is not running. And if you have a dual start engine, remove any batteries. First, we just need to simply remove the existing air box. trying to catch any fuel that's going to spill out. Now let's use the provided drill guide and punch a hole. The drill guide gets placed right there on the case. Drilling a small pilot hole is not a bad idea. So that's punching a bit. Now, go ahead and install your snap lock. So now we need to remove the existing fuel nipple and replace it with a 90 degree fuel nipple. And it simply removes that easily. Now add some Loctite. Align the 90 degree nipple, roughly center line of the carburetor. Grab a pair of pliers and your favorite hammer and apply a little bit of love. Now that we're at this stage, it's a good idea to go ahead and replace your fuel line with some Glider Sports Premium Fuel Line available at glidersports.com. For the owners of dual start models, now's the time to move your throttle cable routing over beyond the motor mount. It's more than difficult to install this fuel line after you put the airbox on, so go ahead and do that now. Since we're at this point, this is a good time to go ahead and check for any leaks, make sure your gaskets are right, and if you want to go through a little more steps to make sure your engine's running properly, go ahead and rebuild that carburetor, which is M097, or it's available in the 100-hour kit at glidersports.com. 
We are now ready to install the air box. Go ahead and take a moment to make sure the clamp is aligned where you can reach it and slide the rubber manifold over the air intake and attach the snap lock. Get low because we really want to see that the rubber manifold is seated securely against the air intake and you want the clamp to be resting but not overlapping the rubber manifold ledge that's next to the air intake. Pre-tension the clamp. Apply a little force as you do that to make sure everything's lined up. And go ahead and finish it off with the torque wrench. We want to apply 2.5 newton meters or 22 pound inches. Now, a properly installed air box, you should be able to lift the entire paramotor just via the air box. Fun stuff. Now, go ahead and attach the safety strap as an added backup. Thanks for joining us for this Glider Sports Pro Tip. If you like this video, go ahead and click like and subscribe below to see future Glider Sports Pro Tips. If you dislike this video, go ahead and do what you need to do. But either way, please leave us a note below to let us know how we can improve this series to help keep you in the air. As always, fly safe. Mm -hmm.